guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little sit down chit chat video and I'm gonna be talking about how I dropped a pant size or a bottom size and dropped a top size as well. And not only with dropping sizes, but feeling like I've lost, you know, some inches in certain, spa in certain spots. Um, So I'm sitting on the floor in my house. I, with, you know, that puppy life, can you see him right there? Yeah, with that little thing, if I get on top of the couch, he follows me and he's not allowed to be on the couch. So I've been spending my whole afternoon and morning basically on the floor here. So I decided that I would film this video today because it was just last week that I went to the store to try on. Actually, this t-shirt is one of them more specifically and then a pair of shorts. Now with t-shirts like this, I've always worn a medium. The other day I went to the store and I wanted to pick up Two of these tees, they're just like a plain simple v-neck tee. Um, I'll try and link it down below for you guys. And then a pair of shorts. And so I went into the store. So I put on the yellow v-neck and I was like, huh, like this doesn't feel that bad. Okay, well let me try on the medium and see like if that's more comfortable or you know, whatever. And so I put on the medium and I felt like it looked like baggy on me. Then I wanted a pair of shorts, but they didn't have my size in store. Um, and because my legs have been shutting down a little bit, or that's been my goal, I was like, well, let me just try on a six to see like, you know, if they're way too small or right on the border, I'll know for sure that I'm an eight. I go into the dressing room and I try on a small, or I'm sorry, I try on a six and I was like, what, like this fit? And I went in and I put the size eight on and they were huge. Kind of the backstory as to why I wanted to film this video. I don't even know if I'm gonna keep that in because that was so long and unnecessary. But my point is what I've been doing to shed some weight, this started, um, I actually pulled up the picture um, December 20th of last year. I took this picture of my legs and that's what my legs look like at the time and I just felt like my legs up top had always been my problem area no matter how how many squats I did how much weight I did how many this how many that I felt like my like inner thigh upper thigh area never um toned and strength it was more of the fact that I never felt like my legs were getting stronger and it was super frustrating because I was like I'm always lifting all this weight and doing these reps and doing that and doing this and going to the gym two days a week for legs or three days a week for legs I just felt like I could never see the difference in my legs that I wanted to see so at that time um, I actually found out that I tore my meniscus in my right knee and so I was like okay well you know maybe I will just cut out the weights because I couldn't do anything with weights because my knee was no longer strong enough for that and I was like let me like go back to basics so at this point so I started doing a lot of um, jump squats jumping lunges forward lunges reverse lunges like lunge complex squat complexes um, a lot a lot of step ups and I strayed away from the machine I really started focusing on doing that and then um, within like three months of that I posted a workout and I'll post a thumbnail here for you guys and I taken a picture of my legs again it was about a three month difference or so and I noticed that they were changing changing my workout and the point of this video is to kind of just give you an insight I do not work out some weeks more than once or twice a week I just can't so much rest time relaxing and if I am tired enough that I know I need a nap I will take a nap over working out because in the long run that's going to be better for me don't exhaust your body and make your body tired just to work out don't do it and so you know you do have to you have to find the difference though of the days of I'm tired and I shouldn't work out and I'm lazy and I should work out and I think that's the difference and like today I'm tired and I should work out, but it's also Sunday. And Saturdays and Sundays, if I don't have the energy 100% to get up and work out, I just won't do it. Even if I've had a very rough week and barely worked out, I just won't do it. I think I'm gonna go into a little like bullet point thing right now, um, but I wanna go over one more topic. Why can't you just put in the hard work and slowly change your eating habits? I'm not nutrition certified. I didn't go to school for nutrition and I do not give out full-blown nutritional advice now if someone asks me i will say look i'm not certified and i don't like to give out nutrition but these are the things that i've done that have worked for me so maybe try something that you think you'll be able to try or something that you think that you'd be able to change a little bit and take it from there or here's my experiences make your own choices do what you want but i never give anyone meal plans never anything because i don't think 
the I, I don't not agree with it you know if you're a dietary doctor or whatever they're called a dietary doctor a dietitian they go to school they know the ins and the outs and the whys and the, how the body works and how everything works obviously go to someone like that or your doctor or whatever but I'm just talking about like your normal everyday fitness person that wants to make you a meal plan for $250 for six weeks and make you charge all this money to eat nothing because I before I was a trainer, I did the same thing. I paid for it and I paid 250 bucks for six weeks and I stopped after about three and a half, four weeks because I couldn't do it anymore. And you know, I've gone through macro counting, through not eating a lot, to eating a lot, to really making sure I'm trying to eat better. I can't do it guys. I think that people should start with, this is my personal experience because I don't have self-control with eating. One thing that I have done is I have, um, slowly made changes and worked on self-control um some things that have that were really bad for me in the past was soda a couple months i would go to in and out and get asked if i wanted a soda no no i went a year between not drinking much to not drinking it at all one thing that i changed another thing was cookies i remember this one summer specifically guys i'd slept in till like 11 or 12 every day i made a like a probably about 10 to 12 cookies chocolate chip cookies a day for breakfast that was like my breakfast lunch because i'd have it between like noon and one literally cookies for all, a whole summer like i mean don't get me wrong every day it was amazing and i freaking loved them and i ate almost every single one of those because that's something that i didn't have self-control for a problem with controlling and then another was like rice and chips um really carb heavy foods you know i'd have one cup of rice for a serving and then go back and have another cup or so or another half a cup or so so i'd say the three things that i started to make changes on and that took a lot of self-control but i didn't do all at once those are things that i have done over time probably within the last two and a half three years um but play a huge part in today's you know everyday living so that is one thing to kind of wrap that whole story up is changing my eating habits and i just wish that everyone would try um, something different so what i've been telling people or what i've been talking about and wishing that people would do is start with working out don't start changing your diet people change their diet because they know that it's 80 20 for a diet and to work out to get to your goals and that's true it is it is all about what you eat don't get me wrong i say instead of starting with a diet because you know that that's 80 percent that's the hardest thing to do is change something that you're used to especially if you work an eight to five job the days that i eat bad are the days i work all day a diet is really hard to do changing your eating habits i don't even want to say a diet but eating habit changing is so much more difficult to do if you could take 15 minutes 20 minutes this day maybe 40 minutes this day maybe you have a full hour that day which i've changed my workout styles to where i don't need an hour to an hour and a half of a workout change your workouts you can you can work out or start if you don't know where you are or you haven't started on your journey or your fitness journey or whatever you want to call it start with just changing your workout first or working out you know do a 20 minute workout take one of my workouts that i post and cut some things out or instead of doing three sets of everything do two sets cut some workouts or cut cut time out a day to do a 15 minute workout a 20 minute workout 25 30 35 40 45 no longer than an hour workout you don't need that but when you work out, work out hard, sweat. Don't let yourself take time and take more than a minute of a break unless you absolutely need it, don't do it. Start with the workout because after I have a really good sweaty workout, I work out like that, I don't wanna eat and I make better choices because if I work out in the morning like that, I make better choices throughout the day whereas when I work out later, I've had bad choices in the morning and then make better choices at night. But my point is, you're going to make healthier choices with working out whether you want to or not because you're not going to want to go eat a bag of chips after you work out. Not because you're going to be like, oh, I just worked out and now I don't want to push all that away. No, because you're not going to want to. Your stomach is going to be like, ew, gross, get that food away from me. What I wish is people would start with working out first. Take time. Take three or four months and before you know it, you'll start to change those eating habits without even forcing yourself to because it'll just be something so natural that you'll start to do because it, it, it's easier, it, it's, it, it is easier to work out than to eat 
to change your eating habit. The point is I wish that people would just try to start with the working out habit rather than the eating habit first because I feel like the eating habit will come. And for some people it works and that's the thing though with this is it's trial and error. You have to learn what works for your body working out first. Don't try this internet fad, is that how you say it? Fade? Fad? eating thing you know if you want to try that by all means everyone do whatever you please whatever you want to try because it does work for some people and that's great but also try worth working out first before you go and spend four hundred dollars a month on supplements and things that you don't actually need go to trader joe's go to sprouts go to whole foods amazon prime finds or whatever the healthy food options are that you can get to um go and start making small healthy decisions i think those you know, so kind of let's like try and wrap this video up because it's like a 30 minute video and I feel like all of this is important, but I've been talking so much. Change little things. Change one at a time or one every month. Have a new goal of I'm going to start doing this, but don't obsess over it. If you have a bad day, who cares? One day is not going to do anything. Little changes, whether that's cutting out soda or instead of having two cups of coffee, try going a cup and a half a day and then a cup and then half a cup, and then maybe one day you'll never get to drink coffee. Um, two, try working out first. You know, try those small changes because they're small changes that need to happen anyways, but don't go and spend $400 on some brand that's telling you you have to have this and you can't eat a meal, you need to drink this shake. Start with working out. You're gonna feel good after you work out and you're gonna feel gross when you eat certain foods and that'll help you control that. That'll help you not wanna eat those foods because you're not gonna wanna feel like that. I think those are my two biggest things is small healthy changes like that and working out. Put the weights down. Try, try, give me, give me three months of my at-home workouts. I have quite a few on there and you can repeat some or take half from one, half another. Give me three months of my workouts. And I'm not saying my workouts, I mean just the at-home workouts that I do. I give lots of my clients them and they've I've had people come in after three weeks and say, I've dropped a pant size. I've lost three pounds. I have people that I've been training now for two months that I can see the differences in them. I think those are my two biggest things is small healthy changes like that and working out. Put the weights down. Try, try, give me, give me three months of my at-home workouts. I have quite a few on there and you can repeat some or take half from one, half another. Give me three months of my workouts. And I'm not saying my workouts, I mean just the at-home workouts that I do. I give lots of my clients them and they've I've had people come in after three weeks and say, I've dropped a pant size. I've lost three pounds. I have people that I've been training now for two months that I can see the differences in them. Obviously they can't because they stare at themselves every day, but I don't see them every day. I see them once or twice a week. And I'm noticing changes in clients. I've had people that I've been training for two months and they're like, oh, my arms are a lot thinner and a lot um, stronger looking and more toned. I'm not saying my workouts work. They're not my workouts. They're just workouts that I've thrown together to help you guys, but try at home workouts. Search other people's at home workouts. Make your own at home workout. But what you should do, what I recommend trying, is making high intensity workouts. And they don't have to be where you are dying and can't breathe. Because I'll probably only have one to two of those a week, but I have a lot more like medium difficult workouts, and I've still gotten very far. I've still dropped a pant size and been able to drop a shirt size. My back and my arms and my legs are stronger than they've ever been. Recap, okay? One, small, healthy, self-control changes. You guys know what that is. Two, start with working out first before you completely change your diet because it's not gonna happen. Three, I only work out three to four times a week, sometimes two times a week, but make your workouts count. Three, make your workouts count. You don't need to do a lot. Do a little, less is more. They say that with everything and that's the same with working out, less is more. Work out less time, but work out harder. If you're gonna work out for 20 minutes, why the heck are you not gonna push yourself for 20 minutes? Otherwise, it was a wasted workout. Don't waste your time. Put your time and energy into it and do a hard workout. Do it. You're gonna love it.
and don't look at yourself every day. I think I covered all that I really wanted to. Obviously, there's a lot more that I could talk about. And I'm not telling you, again, like with some brands, to try what I'm saying, to do what I'm saying. What I'm saying is I think what I've done is a lot more manageable and easier with your everyday life and living and kids and family and work, whatever else you may have going on. I think it just makes it easier to try it little by little and that's basically what I'm trying to get at is do little changes what's going to happen right away and that you necessarily can do right away it takes time and if you're going to try to do something and then you may end up failing at it it's going to not make you want to do it again and it's going to make you want to give up because it's it's degrading and it sucks failing at something so why are you setting yourself up for failure by trying to change this huge change in a month and know this know that you know it's not it's just not necessary and it's not sustainable to do so what i'm just telling you guys is try one or two of these things out let me know if it works try these workouts out <clears throat> um if you've been lifting especially if you've been lifting for weights for a while and don't feel like you're making any weight progress any strength progress any stamina progress it's kind of where i felt to try more body weight very light dumbbell movements you know, work your way up. All of my workouts and the way I work out has made a huge difference. And, you know, this goal of this video was just to let you guys know that it's okay. Things take time. Um, give it time and try little changes because that's what you're going to do, need to do to get to where you want to be. It's that it can't happen overnight and it can't happen in one month. Honestly, it really can't happen in three months. It's going to take at least six months to a year or so. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will talk to you all in my next video. Bye guys.